Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Mystical Maker. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made my very own Kylo Ren helmet. So, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I made a model of the... of half of the bottom half. Um, and basically made a model of that, which is very temporary. Took it all apart and made templates out of it. And then I doubled over the templates, uh, just because I only did one half. I didn't include the dome in these templates that I made, and I will not be including a link to how you can get them. Um, but basically I just freehanded a half of the mask, um, just by adding pieces and trimming stuff. And then I basically took it all apart and used it for templates. And then I flipped it over, and basically there's your Kylo Ren bottom half of it. So after I glued those together, I started working on the mainframe of the dome, which is a little bit different from normal. It's a two inch uh, wide strip uh, that makes the exact same pattern as it would uh, normally with the two and a half with the darts, except this time I didn't add the darts just to save time. It's not quite as smooth as it normally would be, but for this helmet I thought I might want to make it more, uh, more kind of, uh, shapey instead of, uh, smooth. So I chose this technique. Also I chose it to save time, uh, for this helmet. Here you can see me remaking the mouth guard piece area, whatever that's called, uh, because I did kind of mess it up uh, originally by uh, accidentally cutting through one of the pieces. Um, so I had to remake that, and then I filled in all of the little triangles in the dome. And that's nearly the whole helmet, uh, except for some details, which I'm going to add right now. Which is, so basically, I took the templates that I had and traced it out so that I could have the mouth guard as well as the visor cut out onto a piece of cereal box cardboard. And then cut it that in half and traced one half of it. Uh, and then cut that out. And then I could trace it onto the other side. Um, and then trim that up and glue both sides on. It's not perfectly accurate, but I do think it looks pretty good and it looks pretty similar to what Kylo Ren's helmet actually looks like in the movies. Here you can see me gluing it on and the top few little rim pieces um, I had to glue on separately because I accidentally made them too wide in the first part. They shouldn't be very far apart, um, but it should be enough so that you can definitely see the gap in between. Now that I have the helmet done, I added a layer of spackle, sanded it, another layer of spackle, and then sanded it, and then I painted it with, uh, this, uh, kind of sand blue... Uh, primer and um, now I can start painting all of it black <clears throat> so I'm I don't really care like I didn't really care uh, that I was getting some black on the front silver detail uh, because I'm just going to paint silver on top of that normally I would suggest spray painting the silver uh, and then hand painting the rest of it black. Um, but I kind of forgot to do that. So, uh, I'm just doing it like this. So, yeah, that's basically what I did to paint most of the helmet black. Again, I would totally suggest painting it sil painting the faceplate area silver first and then hand painting it over it black. Uh, but I didn't do that, 
so I'm just going to paint all of it black and then paint silver on top. Or if your primer is white, then you can just paint around it, and um, it'll be easier to paint the silver on. Here, with the paint on, you can kind of see what I mean about how it's more um, kind of shaped. It's not quite smooth, uh, which is kind of the effect that I was going for. I'm starting to add my first layer of silver. <clears throat> Try to make it as neat as possible, but it's totally fine if you go over the edges just a little bit because we can always go over it later with some more black paint to clean up the edges, which is what I ended up doing, just to make it look a lot better. So there are some areas that I did miss, and later on, I'm just going to go in between the seams, the cracks, and uh, paint around the edge black. Then I added a second coat, and after that second coat, I painted around the edges, and inside the grooves so that I could have nice, clean, and even lines on the silver. And that's basically how I made my own Captain, or not Captain, uh, Kylo Ren helmet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So guys, that's how I made my very own Kylo Ren helmet. I think it looks awesome. I'm probably not going to add a visor, but if you wanted to, you could totally use a black smooth trash bag or a piece of thin plastic and cover it up with chirp. I'm just not going to because, you know, it looks fine. So, I think that this turned out really nice. I like the way it looks. And it is a bit shallow towards the chin area. But overall, it works really well, so I'm pretty glad about that. Also, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so more people can see this video. And with that, that said, go follow me on Patreon because I have a Patreon page. And hot glue sticks are kind of expensive, as well as everything else that I use to craft in terms of tools. And they're getting more expensive, so if you go uh, follow me on Patreon, that would greatly be appreciated. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's the video.